Hi guys, thank you very much for joining me. I'm Dean the Vaping Biker. Uh, tonight we're going to have a quick look at a couple of juices. Now, I do not do juice reviews generally. I've done a couple in the past uh, and it's not something that I, I, I kind of get involved with purely because I've got the taste buds of a house brick. So unless um, I vape on a, an e-liquid that really does kind of slap my ass and call me Sally and I'm really enjoying it, then I, I'm not going to really, I don't really share that with you because it's not often that I'm going to really, I'm not going to be able to tell you the intricacies and the interwoven textures and uh, paint a picture with uh, wonderful sort of tasty things because, um, you know, that's, I, I don't think that I'm the best person for that. Now, having said that, because my taste buds are pretty crappy, um, if there is a flavour that I really enjoy, it usually means it's a, it's a pretty good one, because it has to be kind of in your face. It has to it has to taste of what it tastes like, and also I've got a, a, a particular thing, you know. I guess like like most of us, where you know if you have some ranges of e liquid, you tend to find that that that, that a lot of them are mixed just in massive massive batches and they've all got the same base mixture and then they just put a couple of drops of flavoring in the top and where you go so you can have an entire line of e-liquid that all sort of has an a, a, quite a strong taste uh that is all the same all the way through which to me just kind of winds me up and i, I can't personally i can't vape that kind of e-liquid now in some cases other people will be able to taste that and say ah yes but there's a wisp of this and a and a summer hedgerows fart of uh, of that and uh, a unicorn tripping over a rainbow belching out peaches or you know whatever um not for me though not for me. So I stick with the hardware because it generally works or it doesn't. <laughs> it kind of, it does what it does. So I, I, I try and concentrate on bringing you that. And there is a crap ton full of, uh, YouTube has, has got, it's just full of uh, reviewers that do a great job with reviewing e-liquid. So uh, I, pr I give you the, the, the metal bits and someone else gives you the liquidy bits. And that's usually pretty good. However, Having said that, once in a while something does really kind of grab me and I feel it necessary to let you guys know. And then if you want to try it, then aces. It's all good to me. Um, so previously I looked at some... So this is kind of like this is not a review review, if that makes sense. Something along those lines. Anyway, um, what we're going to look at a little while ago, I uh, looked at Stash e-liquid. And I looked at three flavours, which were, now I've got to remember, Lushington, obviously, Dark Star, and I think it was Forever Young, I think. So um, this time I am going to look at three other flavours. I'm going to give you a brief rundown, and this is going to be a quick one for a change tonight. This is not going to be 20 minutes of me just talking shit. I'm going to stick to the facts. Not done it already, but we're going to go. I can't even talk. It's uh, it's it's like nearly ten o'clock at night. <clears throat> but right, let's have a little look. See, um, we are going to be looking at. I'm going to manually focus this in. Oh, we're going to be looking at new labelling. No longer. Let me show you one of the old bottles. Um, this is the old little little chappy. Which is awesome. I love that logo. It was fabulous. However, because um, Josh at Stash wants to ensure that the the e liquid that he provides is sort of meets all kind of responsible ruling and responsible within the marketplace, you know, uh, the the labelling has changed and it looks really rather classy. Here is the suspicious minds in the new label. Oh, 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 there we go. Now, what this is not picking up is that it's kind of a, it's a materially, vinyl-y, materially kind of thing. So it's a really tactile, oh, hang on, I forgot. Um, so it's a really tactile label and it looks really classy in the flesh. It's kind of a an off, just, just off white colour. Um, and it looks like a sort of a parchmenty thing. Uh, you've got you've got warnings on there. You've got a uh, an idea of what the flavour is. 
what it's all about and it tells you things like it's max vg it tells you where it's made and all that good stuff so it's plenty of plenty of good information but a really nice new label there so that's that's super so what we're going to look at is suspicious minds which is natural banana and creamy peanut butter we're going to have a look at valhalla which is a classic florida key lime pie and we're going to look at PB and J, which is smooth peanut butter with a strawberry or with strawberry preserves. Now, why have I chosen these ones tonight? There's eight in the range currently, so I ha I had plenty of options. Seeing as I only did three before, the reason I've chosen these three was because based on their flavour profiles, they were the ones that I was the least excited about, and. Being the least excited about when I when I sort of got the the, the whole range through, I was I did think to myself, well, I'll, I'll leave those until last, and we'll see where we're at. Uh, the reason being, peanut butter didn't doesn't really do it for me. The idea of I don't I'm not a massive fan of peanut butter sandwiches, but I uh, and also any kind of nutty vape like pistachios and all that sort of stuff has always just horribly put me off. Uh, the other thing is with lime. Uh, I, I have mentioned it before, but any lime vape that I've had has always tasted like washing up liquid. Um, which I guess, do you guys in the States call it washing up liquid? What you do the dishes with? So because of that, I don't really fancy a, a big mouthful of fairy, the washing up liquid, not any other connotation. Um, so I left these to last. Now, I then tried them and oh my God life is it's just everything's upside down um the way these are made has is for me and my taste buds is unlike any of the others and i'm going to explain why and i'm going to give you a, a like i say a quick rundown of them but because i think this is because josh at stash e-liquid uses he uses no artificial coloring no artificial um sweeteners um and it's all max vg there's no extra pg added to it either so it's always smooth but it's also it's it still it amazes me you know obviously you know i i uh, use lushington all the time and i use that for all of my my rda reviews because i love the taste and i know if it's a good taste or a bad taste or you know whatever from from the rda so i use that all the time and it amazes me how clean the wick and the coils are when you when you sort of get down to having no no liquid left in there, you know, uh, there's no build up of black gunk and shit and crap all over your all over your coils and your and your and your uh, wick all looking black and there's none of that going on. There's none of that happening. So it's 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 stunning. It it still sort of blows me away. Let's get into the tasting there, shall we? So what I've got is I've got three mix. And on the mix, I've got uh, quite small RDAs. So I've got the uh, Bay City Vapors 29 with the Hobo 3.1. That has got Suspicious Minds in it. I've got the Limitless with the Mako Shorty. And that has got Valhalla. And I've got the Bronze Bay City Vapors Surf Rider with the Aeolus V2 in it with the PB&J. So we'll have the, 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 the peanut butter flavours either side of the of the lime, I think. So let's have a little little poodle. I did actually make some notes while I was uh, while I was vaping them, uh, just to try and kind of organise my thoughts a little bit. And when I say notes, uh, I kind of wrote like a couple of sentences down, and that was that was me done. I'm not going to try and say that it's uh, Bambi's farts running through a forest. Um, going to give it to you how I taste it. So let's have a little blast. So first up is the Suspicious Minds, which is the natural banana with creamy peanut butter. Okay, so that, is, that tastes great. I like it. I like it. It has... Um, so I'm trimming my nasal hair, so I'm not wiping my nose. It's just... You know, um, vapor. I have written it's a delicate peanut, uh, delicate banana, which it is, um, with the peanut butter kind of encapsulating it, if you like. Now, I think this is a brilliant all-day vape. 
As I said at the start of this, I never thought I was going to enjoy anything peanut butter related, but this really does. That the nuttiness is to me, it kind of reminds me of um, um, some sort of sweeties or the, you know or something like that. Or I don't know whether it's my taste buds that are changing, but it's not in your face. It's not an acidic manufactured chemically peanut, you know. So it just works out really well. The banana is very subtle. When it goes into it, it isn't. It's not a big banana flavour. And I especially get the 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 banana on the back of the on the back of the nose on the on the on the exhale as well. So yeah, for that I really like it. And it, it this was the one that I started with these three because I thought I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but I like bananas. It actually works out really, really well. So a great all day vape, light enough to vape. Um, not, I wouldn't class it as a dessert, even though it, I guess it probably is. Um, it's just a really nice, nice vape. <laughs> Aces. <laughs> so <laughs> I told you I wasn't going to bullshit you. So that is, that's my sort of general feeling on that. I do enjoy it. It's not overpowering. It's not in your face. Uh, there is the peanut there. The banana is very subtle and it's there. And that kind of comes through on your, on your tongue and also on the, on the back of your nose when you're, when you're exhaling. So the next one is the Valhalla, which is the uh, classic Florida key lime pie. Once again, uh, fairy liquid or, uh, you know, washing up liquid. Not looking forward to it. Wasn't looking forward to it, rather. And how surprised was I? Every time I've had a lot of, th even things like apple pies and all that sort of stuff tend to have a, a kind of a, the manufactured chemical fruit, um, but with a really overpowering um they call it like the crust and the and the, and that kind of pastry aspect to it, um, but to be honest, I don't really like it. I don't like it. It's not for me. This, however, changed the game. This changed me. It changed what I what I thought was essentially the uh, the the whole deal when it came to when it came to uh, both lime and pastry. Let me have a quick vape. Thank you. You know when you put a bit of lime, if you're a little bit one of those sort of guys and you have a bottle of Corona and you put your lime in the top of it, or you might uh, you might put your bit like rim, your, <laughs> especially after that cleaning video, I don't need to say words like rim, do I? Um, put the put some lime around the, the top of a glass with your with your sort of vodka in it or something like that. It's it's very what did I write? A bright citrus lime, which does it is it's it's that. It's that real lime thing going on. Um, and the pastry, I've written it's a subtle pastry because it really is. And you can taste it there. But it backs it up. Like when you're when you're eating um, when you're eating any kind of apple pie or or, or, or or in this case key lime, the idea of having that pastry being the be all and end all is is kind of is not cool because it's not. When you eat something like that, you taste the fruit, and then that that kind of crust or whatever the pie bit backs it up, and that's exactly what this does. I think this is a superb summer vape. I think it's light, it's fresh, it it kind of it makes everything not tingle, but it it brightens everything up, you know. So I really like that. I really like that. I could, uh, uh, Josh, if you can actually make a cocktail that tastes like this, that'd be super. Because I'll be drinking the shit out of that. That'd be marvellous. Yeah. <laughs> Just who knew? <laughs> it's uh, it's lime and it's and it's and it's pastry and I don't like either, <laughs> but I do like them both. <laughs> oh it's mental it's mental right so that leads us on to the last one which is on the surf rider with the velocity v2 not velocity oh sorry cisco this is the aeolus v2 i do apologize um the pb and j smooth peanut butter with strawberry preserve now once again peanut butter no 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 previously 
This is, I think I'm going to define my life now like pre-stash and post-stash. Do you like peanut butter? Pre-stash? No, fuck no. <laughs> um, post-stash? Yeah, fucking right I do. Pre-stash? <laughs> post-stash? Yeah. <laughs> so let me have a little vape and we'll see where we're at. Now that's awesome. <coughs> Let's open that airflow a wee bit. So I had to go a little dry on there. So let me pop a little bit more in. Um, this, uh, the first time I tried this, it reminded me of... Do you get Snickers bars in the States? We get them over here. I think you do. I think that's why they're not marathons anymore, because they're Snickers. Um, it reminded me a little bit of that. If, the, if there had been a bit of the chocolate from a dark star under it, then that would have been that would have been kind of a, a very snickery like thing. As long as you'd got some strawberry jam and kind of just pasted it over the top, if that makes any sense. So you know, it's it's certainly not overpowering on on either aspects, either the peanut butter or the strawberry. With this one, I'm getting the, the, the strawberry is going in on the tongue and then the peanut butter is more there on the on the exhale. So the inhale is getting the, 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 the strawberry and it's once again, it's not an in your face kind of big strawberry flavor. You know, it's not it's not it's not thrusting it there. It's one of the it's not a heavy vape. So it's it's there. It's it's you can taste the strawberry. It tastes natural. It doesn't taste chemically. Um, and the peanut butter that comes out is the peanut does remind me of a, of a of a Snickers bar that you know so it's not it's more mm. <laughs> which is brilliant and I've since having this I have found myself craving it now and then because obviously I have currently I have Lushington and Dark Star as my all day vape. On a hot day, I get some Valhalla in me, um, and I obviously I, I sort of go through the other ones as well. But those are the three that I tend to sort of really, really have as as ADVs. Um, but I find myself craving this one uh, just from out of nowhere. I'll suddenly think, oh, I think I need some PB and J, and it. Shocking, absolutely shocking. It boggles my mind. So once again, Josh um, and Vicky, you guys have rocked it. It's they're both splendid. I love them. I love them so much. I want to bathe in them and wear them as aftershave. But that's probably a probably not a great idea. Uh, let me see if I can show you. Okay, on the on this one, it's just because it's the driest one that I've got. I had been vaping on this prior to this video. Obviously, you've seen me vaping on it as well. And just, I mean, excuse the janky coils, but look how clean that is. There is just no filth in there at all, which is which is ridiculous. It's so good. I don't don't understand how it works i do not understand it. this was the first juice that i'd or e-liquid that i'd had this experience with and i bloody well love it i bloody love it i do yeah that was dry <laughs> so let's peanut butter it brilliant Obviously, by being Max VG, they cloud fantastically because they're not chemically. They're 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 great if you want to go for the cloud side of things because they're not harsh. They're not angry. There's no massive throat punch. I mean, all mine are in three milligram. So obviously, if you increase the uh, the um, nicotine level, you are going to get more of a, a throaty feel going on. But they're designed to be dripper juices rather than tank juices. So so they they uh, there is zero three and six milligram and also one of the great things that josh does is that he he produces it in micro batches as well so he can make sure that rather than just having a big vat of the stuff and just churning out any old shit um by producing a buttload of 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 kind of micro batches he he's, he's able to test it and make sure that each one goes out and it retains the quality 
that it that it should have which i think is brilliant it must be an absolute pain in the ass to do but uh fair play fair bloody play i think it works brilliantly so ladies and gentlemen that's my quick overview of the suspicious minds valhalla and pb and j once again um they're all brilliant e-liquids Stash is going to be available in the UK soon and therefore easier for both EU, well, EU residents as well. as I'm getting confused. Everyone in the EU is going to be having an easier time get, getting it. So keep tuned for that and I'll be able to tell you more soon, hopefully. But otherwise, check out www.stasheliquids.com and that'll give you a full rundown of all of the flavour profiles as well as if you want to purchase it direct from Stash, you can, which is which is how I've been rolling. So thank you very much, everybody, for watching. I hope you've enjoyed I hope it was somewhat in, um, informational, is that a word? Um, it told you a little bit about it. it don't be scared of them. If you're not sure about peanut butter, honestly, I swear, give it a go. If you're not sure about lime, give it a go. Um, and I'm pretty sure you'll be happy with it. So if you try any of the stashes, feel free to leave me comments. I'm always interested to hear what your experiences are. Obviously, they're not going to suit absolutely everybody. And taste is very, very subjective. So my personal taste, these rock. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you uh, you get to try them soon and uh, keep vaping your face off people and most importantly, have it launched!